everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. Alright, the fun thing that we are trying out today is uh, I had the idea that I really wanted to play a Dowsing Dagger deck uh, with Flyers because Dowsing Dagger, what it is, is when it enters the battlefield, you target opponent which targets, uh, <laughs> which gives them two plant tokens as defender. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield so it's kind of like a downside but it gives equipped creature first off plus two plus one and then when it does damage to a player it transforms into the other side of it the lost veil which adds three mana of any one color and so if you can equip this onto a flyer in the early game then this is just an insane insane card uh and so this deck is really really fun uh so i i really would be playing this with four douse and daggers i'm playing three right now because what we're going to do is play this in kibbler's uh monsters deck where it's all based around playing big stuff because we have 13 big creatures in this deck. Uh, so I added a couple more essence scatters because when pe other people playing big creatures, we counter them. And, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. So uh, that's that's kind of mean, but, but that's what we're going to do. And I usually don't play counters that often, but I think it works really well for this deck. So uh, we do have Mox Amber here on the on the far side too. We have Wrath Compassion that can kind of do some fun stuff in this deck. And really our big creatures we're trying to get into is Lyra. We're trying to hit Lyra pretty early if we can. We can get Dowson Dagger uh, onto a creature pretty much as, as early as turn three. And we can't really do it quicker than that. But so on turn three, we can equip it, uh, swing in and have four mana left so we can get down a, a Wrath Compassion on their turn or a Shalai. Maybe have a Settle the Wreckage available. And then on the next turn, we can start playing some bigger stuff. We can play Azor, you know, Zahid, all these kind of big stuff, Zatalpa. And so anyway, really, really fun deck. I like the synergies it has in it. And not only that, but if we have enough mana, we can just have this onto, you know, one of our life gaining creatures or something and have it be getting us two extra life. And so I really like Dowsing Dagger in this deck. It works really, really well. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay and uh, check out Kibler's deck or uh, gameplay here. Before we jump into the gameplay, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Flipside Gaming. Check them out at FlipsideGaming.com and use the promo code Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, to get 10% off all orders over $10. All right, so here is Kibler's Giant Monsters. So it says, uh, we're giving constructed a new house rules with Brian Kibler. Uh, so basically, whenever you play a creature with converted mana cost four or greater, you get to draw a card. So it gives more more reason to be playing the big creatures. And that's just when you cast it as well. So even though we might have the Essence Scatter available, they will be able to draw. So uh, kind of a downside on on control a little bit but i still think that it's worth having a few of the counters and we have two essence scatters three sinister sabotages uh and i think that's going to be worthwhile as we're playing our big stuff and also drawing so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay and here we go all right so here we are against asmodeus and uh real quick with this deck too i did play it did opponent just scoop okay all right i'll take it Win number one. <laughs> All right, so real quick with this deck too. Let's go ahead and, and keep going. But uh, so with this deck, um, I did play it in um, just ranked real quick first off. And I actually was winning a, f a fair amount of games with it. Um, I think I was like, I, I ended up even, but I was, I I'm kind of getting a little bit higher into rank where I'm playing against legitimate decks. And so I think if you're just playing free play, this deck actually has some legs. Um, and so, oh man, this would be great if that was... I think we have to mulligan this. We really need some stuff on turn turn one or two, yeah. So this is better. Meandering River, we like land here, I think. So we're going to keep that. Um, island, past the turn. We have our double white sources, double blue. I'm liking this hand right now. Um... Tezzeret is really, like, we have a few ways to get artifacts in for Zahid and stuff, but for the most part, we don't have a ton of artifact synergies. Besides, like, we have the Dowsing Dagger, which ends up being flipped anyway. We have Mox Amber. Uh, but really, what I like this for is is for the creating the flyers. Um, I was bringing in um, the... What's it? The one with the wind or whatever that helps you... Oh, man, I can't even think of it now. All right, Memorial to Genius is good. So we have a couple of tap lines. So let's go to combat first, see if we want anything else here. Nightfall Sprite. We have the lands right now, so I think we actually are okay bringing this, keeping that on top right now. Um, Meandering River, pass the turn. Get to our bigger creatures. Uh, so I did play this deck with, uh, oh man, they're doing a lot of ramp right now. 
Uh, and this is kind of what I was thinking with this deck, is that it's good. Go to combat, swing in. What's on top? Dream Eater. Do we have the mana to play Dream Eater? I don't really want it to the graveyard right now either, though. I think we got to, though. Let's keep looking for our lands. Dream Eater to the graveyard. Memorial to Genius. Play Nightville Sprite. And we have Lyra Dawnbringer next turn. So we can keep drawing stuff. We only have the one Dream Eater. Um, sorry, I was playing this with uh, the Naya Ramp deck. The, the Naya Reduction Ramp. Um, and man, that deck works really well. It's all of the uh, creatures that give... Um, give your dinosaurs uh, reduced costs. Oh man, that's powerful. It's a lot of stuff down really quick. And now we get our essence scatter. All right, well, I think Lyra Dawnbringer is still amazing against this deck. Dowsing Dagger, awesome as well. So we're gonna swing in, keep putting on some pressure, keep surveilling to try to get our perfect draws next turn. So Sinister Sabotage, Hmm. I think I think we have to keep it up because next turn we can dousing dagger and uh, fl flip it and then have the three mana to spend on that and actually we won't have enough for essence scatter. All right, so knight, yeah, so knight of stampede. I was playing a deck full of these guys. I didn't play Goreclaw. Goreclaw is awesome with that as well. But um, yeah, this this is a fun deck. I think what we're going to try to do is oh, Prey Upon. So they do kill each other. We gain five life. He swings in. All right, well, let's go ahead and get our Dowsing Dagger plan going here. Tezzeret doesn't do a whole lot right now without decent blockers. All right, put it on the Night Vale Sprite. Swing in. See what we've got on top. Healer's Hawk goes to the graveyard. We gotta start getting our big stuff now. And um, we're gonna have plenty of mana, so that's also graveyard. Swing in, down to 12. Oh, man, yeah, decline. Oh, wait, no, not Decline. I meant to transform it. Oh, man. No. I I got used to Declining because I had had that in the last game I played with this deck. And so I've just I, I've made it a habit, apparently. And they're going to swing in for so much damage, and I totally would have Essence Scattered that. And that one, I mean, I couldn't have, but... Ugh, man. I think we're just dead. Druid of the Cowl. Man, why did I not transform that? And yeah, we're dead. Alright, Siren Storm Tamer. Yeah, we're just dead. So, I mean, I guess we can swing in to see if we... We have a Settle the Wreckage that we can draw into. We can play Tezzeret and... No, we won't have enough mana. I guess if we transform it, do we have enough... Oh man, there's Settle. But we don't have a turn to draw it, do we? We keep it on top. Transform this time. And we don't have enough mana. Man, we're so close. Yeah, that's game. Man, we could have... If I had transformed that earlier, I think we could have got the Tezzeret down, drawn into it, kind of just searching for something there. Oh, well. All right, here we are against Soul Rebel. And uh, we're playing again here. Man, I made the big mistakes last game. Uh, this one, on the draw... I think we can keep this. We have the Dowsing Dagger. We're hoping that people are playing a little bit slower in this format. I mean, they're, almost everyone's playing ramp of some sort. Um, Dowsing Dagger is kind of a different type of ramp. 
We get a draw, hopefully into... Oh, man, that's not a good draw. All right, island, pass the turn. Drover of the Mightiest. All right, we'll give him some more creatures. You can have some defenders. Douse and Dagger down. Uh, and so next turn, they can start drawing some stuff, which is bad. The one d downside is if they were playing the Wayward Sword Tooth, then this gets them to the city's blessing a lot quicker. Circuitous route. All right, so extra card draw, or uh, ramp, I mean. Well, this gives us a way to get some mana. So pass the turn. We're hoping they don't have Rabid Bites or something like that. Carnage Tyrant, something massive. We'll see... There's the Carnage Tyrant. Man, we need land. Yep, no blocks. You're taking a lot of damage. Ugh, man. Well, to do anything, we have to swing in here. We flip. Transform. Do not decline. And I mean, we have Sinister Sabotage to at least get something big. They're just going to swing in for 10. If it's another Carnage Tyrant, I think we're just dead. But we have Lyra to kind of be gaining us back some life. Nullhide Ferox. Um, I'm trying to remember, can this... Can this be countered? So that resolves the draw card. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll Sinister Sabotage that. Try to look for land, I think, here. Azra the Lawbringer, I think, is our best play. Just to be able to block the Carnage Tyrant for sure. Uh, graveyard. Yeah, so I think we have to draw land, I believe. Swings in for 10. Crushing Canopy. Uh, please use that now. That's great. That is fantastic. Oh, Tapland. Tapland is bad. All right, so we can bring down Lyra Dawnbringer, gain back some life against these guys. Another Dowsing Dagger. It's interesting. It can give us quite a bit of mana. All right, Lanor Elves. All right, so Azor can block Carnage Heart next turn. Um, if he swings in with Carnage, of course, we... Ugh, another Crush and Canopy. All right, well, that's game. Oh man, that's that's pretty sad. Pretty bad there. Pretty bad. Oh man. Well, it doesn't work well in that format apparently, especially when people playing crushing canopies. Didn't expect that. We got the one free win. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take this into free play as well because that is kind of sad. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just play some some free play here with this one. Not ranked because it's still a pretty janky deck, and ranked I've noticed is kind of like the new uh, constructed events gameplay. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and play a couple times here, and then uh, and then we'll finish up here because this deck is fun. I mean, we're getting dowsing daggers in. We're starting to play big stuff, just not quite quick enough. Well, that was weird. All right, uh, healer's hawk. We're gonna keep this. Um, I'm not sure if we play the Healer's Hawk first. I guess we just keep gaining life and we can kind of play slower afterwards. Or we get Nightville Sprite turn two. Let's go Memorial to Genius. Okay, Memorial to Genius, pass the turn. Let's see what they have got here. Alright, so Planes and Nightville Sprite. Pass the turn. This way we can play Healer's Hawk and Dowsing Dagger next turn if we draw into mana. And this gives us a better chance of actually drawing into it. Alright, cast down. That's fine. Cast downs, we like seeing those. Alright, so Healer's Hawk and Dowsing Dagger. And pass the turn. Yep, they get some plants. So I was originally playing Urza's Ruinous Blast in this because we were running enough legends that it was kind of fun. Uh, so let's uh, equip onto here, see if they have a trigger. 
Um, go to combat. Probably should use two blue mana there just in case. Uh, we will absolutely transform this time. We gain some life. And, ooh. Does Tezzeret actually resolve? We're going to try it. We're going to try for a Tezzeret. See if it resolves. Ah, oh, the syncopate. The Boo. Are clear now. Boo. All right. We could have just held up Raph uh, there for their end step. So play the planes, go to combat, swing in. And I wonder if we play Raph here instead of later because they're only holding up one. One blue mana, so that, that means they don't have Sinister Sabotage yet. So I think that we do. So you typically wouldn't, but we do here. So play Wrath, Capassion. Essence Scatter is the only thing that really gets it. Which then they would have it anyway, most likely. I, we could have waited next turn to see if they would tap down. All right, there we go. All right, so this gets out of the way from a lot of their removal. They could have Ross's Contempt. All right, Ross's Contempt. Well, as long as they just have everything and all the cards, man, this is bad. All right, so I think we're going to go drawing here. So Moral to Genius, we get to keep up Essence Scatter, play Meandering River, and we get to the other t uh, Tezzeret, so that's good at least. All right, pass the turn. I'm not sure if, they ha if they're they going to be playing creatures on this time. They might be playing Doom Whisper with this deck, actually. So Essence Scatter could come in handy here. All right, Submerged Boneyard, Chemister's Insight, draws cards. We get to play down Tezzeret this time. So Tezzeret. I'm not sure if I should be holding up the Lost Veil. It has l l less uh, ability with colors, though. So let's... Um, do we want to draw cards or start creating a board? Getting to our, our emblem is actually really good with this deck. So that's what the, the idea of this deck is. is we're going to be playing... Uh, creating Thopters. Swing in. And the emblem says whenever, at the beginning of your end step, you can search your library for a permanent card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So we have a lot of big creatures in this deck, and so we can just consistently be getting big stuff out. We'll see if they have Rust Contempt. Number two. Of course they do. Man. Draws are not looking great. All right, we're going to swing in again. Pass the turn. Well, we have our Cleansing Nova. It'd be great if they were running any of their uh, any of their white removal. All right. Oh, man, Teferi comes down now. Ticks up, gets untapped some stuff. We're gonna put pressure on him at least, so that he can't bounce our next thing. Actually, I guess he he could, but then it would die. All right, Shalai is good. Shalai is great. All right, so Island. Um, I think we actually use Shalai here first. This way he can't kill one of our guys trying to swing at Teferi here. I guess he can't. He does have counters here available. All right, so let's it resolve. We go to combat, swing it to fairy. I'm guessing a possible cleansing nova here next turn, I won't let you win. which is bad. Pass the turn. Dream Eater, we counter. Hopefully they just have Syncopate. They could have Negate. We'll see. All 
All right. Perfect. All right, let's see if they bounce. Shall I hear? That means that they probably have another Teferi. All right, so they do bounce. I mean, it's dead next turn anyway. I think drawing and, and untapping lands is better if they didn't have it. Um, let's see. Do they have board wipe? Go to combat. Swing in. Didn't see a response. We'll see what they've got. All right, so pay for the six. Bring down Zahid. I guess I could have tapped down the Thopter there, but we have plenty of mana right now. And that's a little bit quicker of a, of a clock now. But against control, it doesn't mean anything. And we know we're drawing into Sh uh, Shalai here pretty soon. Eldish Reborn. Totally fine with that. Get the Thopter. So now we still have a two-turn clock, which is before they actually get to this Eldritch Reborn. Chemister's Insight has to draw for something. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to go to combat. I'm not going to overcommit to the board this time. I typically do. I mean, the one thing is if they kill one guy, then we have a slower clock, and that could bring us up. So there's something to be said about playing this just for more resiliency on our on our clock for next turn. We have to discard something anyway. So let's let's go ahead and get down Nightville Sprite here. Um, I'm fine discarding cleansing. Well, actually, yeah. Let's just let's just use cleansing Innova to. I keep forgetting this actually works for everything. Yeah. So all artifacts and enchantments. Cool. There we go. And I I almost miss that every time. All right, opponent's saying good game, and he scoops up. All right, perfect. So we got, we got a win with the deck. Finally, man, man, oh man, oh man. And we get some cards and packs, so we're gonna go ahead and crack those as well here. Crack a pack, and uh, let's see what we get here. Hey. We're actually uh, racking up quite a few few rares, so we can build up some good decks. Well, the deck didn't do very well against uh, in Kibler's event, um, and I think that partially was due to bad draws, partially was due to the opponent just really comboing off really quickly there, um, or, or ramping really quickly into big stuff. But uh, this deck has some potential. I think it, it really does. If we don't run into Crushing Canopies. I mean, who runs Crushing Canopies? I guess in a big Dragons deck. Yeah, all right. But anyway, so this is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I I think this has a lot more potential in like the free play mode than it does ranked or anything like that. But uh, it is a fun deck. And we, we got the Dowsing Dagger to happen, I think, every single game. So that plan at least is consistent. Um and we can get to our bigger stuff after that point. Uh, I think that you can make some some changes here to maybe bring in a couple more Resplendent Angels to kind of have that plan a little bit earlier with Dowsing Dagger. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much, and bye-bye.